This is Glenn again, and we're going to sh show you today how to uh, time mags, uh, slick mags on a Lycoming 0360 here with AJ again, A&P with Hi, inspector Glenn. authorization. Hello, AJ. So I'll just turn it over to you. Okay, Glenn. Yeah, we're going to do the timing on the uh, slick mag needles. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, piston up to number on uh, compression stroke on number one cylinder. So we're going to do thumb compression here. The spark plugs have been removed, and we're going to go to come. We're going to go to compression right about here. Okay? okay. Now we're going to spin around to the front of the uh, engine. Get down on our knees. This is where I do my best work down on my knees. I think. If you look here, this is your 25 degree mark. All, almost all light coming engines are 25 degrees before top dead center. There's a little indentation on the starter right here. You align this mark with that mark just by turning the prop like this. And now we are set up at, uh, uh, at the timing mark on the uh, number one cylinder. Okay. Okay. Next we're going to come over here. I've already attached the uh, other uh, magneto. Okay, I'm just getting the position here. Okay, so one magneto has been attached already. The, the right magneto has been attached, and we're going to put our spark plug, or our uh, magneto timing lead, on the P lead of the magneto right there. You've attached it. You can see it right down here. Yeah. It's now attached to that. Okay. We have t already turned on. The mags to both, which means that the mags are not grounded. Now we, there are two ways of doing this. I usually do it this way because it's easiest, number one, and uh, it's it's uh, completely safe. Uh, you want to make sure that your mags are on so that uh, they are not grounded. <clears throat> we can uh, go ahead with our our uh, testing now. And how do you know they're not grounded? Because the mag switch is on because the mag switch is on. Yeah, it's okay. on both. Gotcha, okay. Okay, here's our, our uh, tester. It's a real simple little tester. Okay, and we're gonna turn the switch on right here. You can hear uh, the beep or, or the scream, which means that they are pretty well, pretty close to being uh, timed properly. Now we're gonna rotate the prop a little bit. We're gonna take it off of here. If you'll get over here, Glenn. Okay. See the, uh, the testers there. Now I'm going to start bumping the, the prop. Now look at how I bump this. Right here. Okay, I'm going to bump this until the indicators change. That's what we're looking for. Okay, the mags are right dead on together. They are synchronized. And now I'm going to take a look and see where our timing mark went to. Okay. And if our timing mark is right dead on, which it is, that means that your mags are timed. If they are, are not timed, then we will have to go and adjust the uh, mag itself to put it back into timing. Okay. All right. Do you want to just briefly describe how you would do that, okay. assuming they weren't timed properly? Okay. Just now I'm going to turn this off so we don't have this thing screaming at us. There's two uh, two bolts on the on all mags, up here on the top of the mag and underneath. Okay, okay? we would loosen up. You know, the mag that is out of time, and you can tell which one it is because the green is the right, and the red is is uh, the left mag. Okay, all right. Uh, if one is out of sequence, one is coming on before the other, we address the one that is not on the correct timing mark. Okay. Okay, if uh, so, let, let's assume that the uh, left mag is not in time. We would loosen up these uh, uh, these uh, uh, nuts here, and we would turn the magneto itself just by hand pressure. Right. We'd be able to turn it until we get the uh, the timing marks right dead on, just as they were when we did the uh, the test. Okay, okay, and then you tighten up the uh, tighten up the uh, the nuts. After you tighten the nuts, you go back through and make sure that they are back in time because there's a little bit of slop in there and that will affect 
how the time, uh, how the uh, uh, the synchronization is. Okay. Because it'll the gear is slopping a little bit and uh, it'll uh, uh, affect the timing. So you do that until you know once it's all tightened up, everything is uh, uh, synchronized. Then you can remove everything and away you go. Sounds good. Thanks very much, AJ. Thank you.